Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. <clears throat> you know, listen to the mind of an Terry's move. Flight boss, the Archangel Uriel. And I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And y'all know every now and then I like to do some, I like to do thought experiments. I like, I like to do hypotheticals from time to time. Not in debates or arguments, but y'all know, just, just to exercise the mind, you know, so we can all exercise the mind with each other. So right now, you know, I just want to do a hypothetical, and you know, I like to take other people's positions from time to time, because I know with my spirit, I'm able to see aspects where people may be in certain other spirits, and they may not be able to see that world clearly. So I, I could be able to help a lot of people out. So right now, I'm, I want to uh, fight for the position of Jesus right now, and not Christians, not anyone who worship Jesus, Jesus the figure himself. I want to argue from his position right now. So let's get into it. Now for the most part, this is what we need to know. Regardless of what you're lost in to the physical, your spirit always know what you're doing. And the more you lie to yourself or come up with logic to say that it ain't that, the more you get lost in yourself. But your spirit always know what you're doing. For an example, you could come up with words of words with meanings and reasonings all day. For an example, you could tell somebody, hi. And what is hi equivalent to? Hello, right? So you're saying hi, something that's hi. And that's equivalent to hell low. A hell that's low. Now think of the energy vibration that you put behind it, right? Now the words and meanings that y'all give it is, it's a sense of endearment. It's a, it's a sense of rep, uh, telling someone hi or, or it's, a sort, a sort, it's a greet. Now <clears throat> it's a greet, how you greet someone. Now what is a greeting? A greeting, a meeting, right? So when you think about the light saying hi, the light is high, the sunlight, right? So that's high. When the light is raising in the morning, what you call that? The morning. Now, equivalent that to the funeral. A funeral. The funeral, you're doing the same thing. You're in the same place. But your spirit don't know what else word to use it, but to use the same shit. At a funeral, you are mourning. You see what I'm saying? It is a greeting. It is a, a meeting around something. So... This is what you need to understand that it's one and the same. Your spirit already know that, but you keep coming up with logic and shit like that to get lost into what the fuck is actually is. So let's get into this actual, uh, let's, now I'm gonna fight for the defense of, of Jesus right now. So look, when we look at things like the cross, right? The, car, the cross is backed and supported by energy signature. So it's backed and supported by death, law, government. We know the cross itself, for someone to be crucified, they have broken the law, and this law was predicated on certain things that you do. And if you go against those things, then you could be served with being crucified. So this is what the cross means. So this is the same. So back then, the government and the Romans and Romes and all that came up with that logic the same way today's government came up with the logic of the death penalty and the, and the, and the electric chair. Or however you get put to death. They had the same logic then that they had now when they come up with these governmental concepts. Now, this is what you need to understand, right? Now, for the most part, when you look at the cross, it doesn't matter how someone try to explain it or the meaning or reasoning of it. The energy behind it, the spirit behind it, is always going to be doing the same thing, regardless of who hands is in and their perception of what it's doing. So, for an example, when you look at the cross now, you're looking at everybody as the cross as it's a representation of Jesus, right? So... You, when you use the cross now, you put it up to rebuke any evil. So you see crosses and and you see crosses in the uh, church and things of that nature, and it rebuke evil. So you understand that's the energy signature is backed and supported by, right? So <clears throat> even <clears throat> even when you look at movies that's like movies that's dealing with vampires and shit like that and demonic possessions and things of that nature, you see a um, a priest or someone use a cross. To get to, to handle that, y'all ever seen Constantine? You see them use a cross to handle that possession, right? So this is letting you know the mental, symbolic, metaphysics of the cross and what it's used for. So when you go back into the day that uh, Jesus Christ days, right? This was the same way Jesus was crucified. So whether you, whether your perception is on being on Jesus side or being on the government, a Rome side, it doesn't matter. You know at the time. The energy that they had to put Jesus on the cross is because they looked at Jesus as being possessed or they looked at Jesus as being something opposing to the structure or whatever it was is. And whatever Jesus was doing was unnatural or possessed like and things of that nature. And, they, and they, So you see what I'm saying? So, and when you think about all the things that they was rebuking people for, they was rebuking people for like coming up with, th coming up with things like that they ate, saying they are something that they not. Uh, 
uh, being gay. You know what I'm saying? When they're when they're into uh, a civilization that everyone is married and having children, and you're coming pushing some other shit, and you have twelve disciples, and you surround yourself with men, and you, and and you have a loved man, and, and you see it gets to the shit like that. So they they looking at these things as a form of a person being possessed. You see what I'm saying? So all right now, but look, look let's look at it like this, right? So the spirit that was in Jesus, everybody around there looked at him possessed because they crucified his ass, right? So they cru they rebuked them the same way you see people re rebuke demons today. So they rebuked Jesus, right? And and then so the spirit in Jesus, right? This is how the flesh died. So the spirit is going to be scared of that cross. So this is giving you the first initiation of where that energy is coming from of evil spirits being scared of, of the cross. This is the first energy of it because they knocked Jesus' spirit out of him by killing him and he's being hung on the cross. So as a spirit, right? He's hung on the cross. And then <clears throat> when you think about the... <clears throat> The law and all that shit, how they had back then. So when they hung Jesus on the cross, right? Now <coughs> Jesus is gonna be scared of this cross. And think about the law. <coughs> think about the law today and the law back then, right? It was a it was a certain law that Jesus broke. So now when you bring that in, right? <coughs> the spirit of Jesus is gonna run away from any cross. So let's let's take a hypothetical right now. Let's say you believe in Jesus, right? And you're claiming Jesus is going to come back, right? Now put this in a perspective of a movie of every time the spirit or that demonic spirit see the cross, it runs away from it. So for an example, let's look at it like this. If Jesus was that demonic spirit that you worship. So don't get lost in me call it demonic. Let's just say it was your beautiful spirit since you want to think Jesus was a beautiful spirit or whatever like that. This spirit you was worshiping got rebuked as being demonic. Or in certain ways as being negative, right? So that spirit is going to be scared of the cross. Now you worship the spirit and you preach to people every day that this spirit is going to come back and save you, save all y'all, right? But I'm going to give you this perspective, right? You're, <clears throat> you worship a place that hold up this big old cross, right? Now, how is that spirit going to come back? If that spirit of Jesus is floating around over a city, how is it going to come back to y'all where it can't even get close to the city because the first thing that is seen on top of the fucking buildings is a goddamn big ass cross. The, the shit that made it run away in the first fucking place. <laughs> how the fuck Jesus go, how the fuck old Jesus going to even come close to your fucking city where the first fucking signs to see is a big ass fucking cross on top of every goddamn building. Damn, it can't even come close to your god. The spirit can't even come close to your goddamn city. So then, we, so then when you look at it, right? So then when you look at it, right? The places that have little to no crosses and that don't have no crosses and the generation is scattered there, Jesus could come to those people, but here's what fucking happens. When Jesus come giving them motherfuckers ideas and shit, when they start bringing that in the world, guess what happened? These people, family members and, and the people that they go around in society put a cross up and rebuke it. <laughs> rebuke they ass. Now they ass feel weird feel weird about themselves for really catching the Jesus spirit and now they subscribe to the Lucifer the Lucifer blind spirit again that made the regular Jesus spirit run away you think Jesus give a fuck about that cross that's like somebody killing me with a gun and then all my family and friends and everybody in the world got got gun chains you know what I'm saying everybody worshipping everybody worshipping the gun er, er, niggas worshipping the, the bullet the actual shell that killed me <laughs> niggas framed the newspaper of, of the niggas name who killed me the, the whole system and government of the niggas who made the gun constructed to kill me y'all niggas worshipping that y'all niggas got churches built built around the motherfucking that with a big ass symbol of a gun <laughs> you think I want to come back and fuck with y'all <laughs> You, you think you calling me in my name, you think I want to come back through you? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> and just think about all, the, think about all the laws. <coughs> think about all the laws that Christians read that they rebuke people with. They not understanding that that's the laws that Jesus died for. <laughs> Why are you not understanding what you're saying? You said Jesus died for your sins, right? Right? <clears throat> so basically what you're telling me, look, I'm Archangel Uriel. I use my common sense. 
When you tell me God died for your sins, you know what you're telling me? You're telling me a line that Jay-Z said. Since Jay-Z sold all the dope, he did it so you don't have to do it. So when you tell me Jesus died for your sins, what you're telling me is Jesus already did all that so you don't have to do it. So Jesus died for that shit so you don't have to do it. So Jesus was already a faggot. <laughs> you don't have to be one. Jesus was already a, uh, he was already, you know what I'm saying? He was already this shit. You don't have to do it. He was already the hustler. You don't have to do it. He was already this. You don't have to do it. He was all, all the laws, all the laws that religious people teach to rebuke people who not going against Christianity. Here's what you're not understanding what you're doing. The laws that you preaching is the Roman laws. <laughs> you, listen, you preaching the laws that got Jesus killed. But you think you're preaching the laws because they're in Jesus name. Do you get it? The laws that the Bible teach you that that you're preaching to other people not to do is all the things Jesus did. <laughs> do you get it? But you telling people not to do this because G because that's not right for Jesus and you're not going to be right with God. But you're not understanding your book is telling you all these laws is the shit that Jesus did. <laughs> and so you don't do it. Jesus died for your sins. So if you're going to be going through trials and tribulations, if you're going to be going through confusions, putting your own spiritual self in your own spiritual jail, if you're going to be coming up with this morality, coming up with this logic of why you shouldn't do this, why you shouldn't do that, these commandments, this, that, and the third, if you're going to be coming up with those, the Bible is telling you Jesus did those so you wouldn't have to. This is why you get a bunch of stories of people killing people and shit like that. And then Jesus coming to tell you that we shouldn't do that and things of that nature. So it's like, it's y'all y'all confused. So all the churches is preaching the religious laws, which is the law now is nothing but the law started with the church. The government and the law that y'all see now is nothing but an offspring, a branch of the church. The church, the church was the first government of law. So how they constructed the law? That was, see when you get the New Testament, that's somebody else trying to re, restate shit and reclaim and rejustify shit. But the law is still doing the law. That's what you need to understand. So whatever confusion Christians are getting, whatever justifications and laws that you're that you're preaching. You're preaching the the law of the Romes and you're preaching the things that got Jesus killed. But you're preaching it in a way of saying that this is how Jesus is going to come get you. No. <laughs> the sinner, the person who's lost, the sinner, the person who needs to get it together, the person who was birthed, the man who has to go through the mankind obstacles, that's Jesus. Now, when did you when did you get on your moral high horse and thought it was talking about something else other than that. You are Jesus. You're going through the same circumstances and situations he is. But he's telling you certain things that you don't have to go through because he already did it. And if you go through it, you're going to get killed by going all the way through that shit. Because the moment you keep going through it, niggas will kill your ass. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> why, don't you, why don't you understand? God is telling you not to break the law. This is why the Christians say respect the land of the law. And they're respecting the land of the law and the government and shit. Because that same spirit who created the law that you're preaching that killed Jesus is this, the same spirit you're worshiping today. You're God, you're government. <laughs> but you think you're talking about it for Jesus' case when you don't understand you. Jesus trying to explain to you that you are that. <laughs> you ain't a part of that system and supposed to rebuke others. Yo, ask the one go get rebuilt, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm done, man. Flight boss, bitch. Goddamn.